Hello! I'm recording this video at the start of August, which means that in a few days' time we should be at the peak of the Perseid meteor shower. Now it's one of several meteor showers that occur each year, and in this video I'll be showing you what a meteor shower is, um, when you can see them, why they occur at the same time each year, and where to look in the sky. So, first of all, what is a meteor shower? Well, meteors, or shooting stars, are tiny grains of dust that come from comets. And they burn up high in the atmosphere, and they enter the atmosphere at tens of kilometers per second. And they burn up, and they create bright trails that can be seen for, you know, possibly even less than a second. A meteor shower is when you get lots of meteors all appearing to come from about the same place in the sky and about the same time, so over perhaps the course of a few days. When a comet comes into the inner solar system, the heat of the sun will cause part of the comet to boil off into space and the radiation pressure from the sun causes those part to draw back away from the sun forming the familiar tail on a comet. So a lot of those bits of dusty debris that come off the comet will be left orbiting the solar system after the comet has gone. So that even after the comet has long gone, every time the Earth passes through this stream of cometary debris, we should be able to see some meteors. The Earth passes through the stream at the same point in its orbit every year, hence why we see meteor showers at the same time of year every year. In a meteor shower, because they're all travelling in a similar sort of orbit, uh, they all appear to come from approximately the same sort of place in the sky. And this is called the radiant, and it's where the meteors appear to radiate from. So, you might see some meteors uh, below, to the side, across, but they should all be appearing from about the same sort of place in the sky. Every now and again you will get a meteor which doesn't seem to fit that pattern and it's probably just a sporadic meteor. There are several of these each night and they're not connected particularly with any one stream but they're just bits of dust floating that happens to impact with the atmosphere. So what time of year should you be looking? Well, there are several major meteor showers that occur throughout the year. So in January, on around the 2nd or 3rd of January, there's the Quadrantids. Now that's actually named after a constellation which doesn't exist anymore, called Quadrans Moralis, but the name has stuck. Then in April we have the Lyrids, coming from the constellation of Lyra. Then the Eta Aquarids from Aquarius on or around May the 4th or 5th. And then on August the 12th we have the Perseids, which comes from the comet Swift Tuttle. The Orionids come in October, on around October the 21st. Now that and the Eta Aquarids actually come from Halley's Comet. In November, uh, somewhere around the 16th, 17th of November, we have the Leonids. Now, at the moment, uh, that isn't a particularly major shower, produces about 15 or so metres per hour, but every now and again, it can produce thousands per minute. It's one of the most intense outbursts uh, ever recorded in a metre shower. It's come from the Leonids, so it's always worth looking out for, just in case. And finally, in December, we have a, a strong shower from the Geminids, and that's on around December the 12th. There are several minor showers that occur throughout the year, and these can produce up to sort of 5 to 10 meteors per hour. There are also some showers that occur during the daytime, but obviously you can only observe those using radio astronomy. You can't see those visually. With most meteor showers, it's actually often best to observe in the hours between midnight and dawn, rather than the hours before midnight. 
in the early evening we're actually looking in the opposite direction to the way the Earth is travelling and as time goes on we'll gradually turn and eventually be facing in the same direction as the Earth is travelling just before dawn you're pointing in the same direction that the Earth is travelling so you're more likely to get meteors impacting the Earth that way so that's why you usually see slightly more in the pre-dawn hours than in the hours after dusk and before midnight. One of the commonest questions is well, where should I look to be able to see the meteors? Well, although the radiant where the meteors appear to be coming from may be quite low, often in the north, you can actually get meteors all over the sky. So the best thing to do is just to grab a reclining chair or even just a blanket and just lie down, look up and several meteors will probably come straight overhead or to your side and you can actually just observe them that way. So lie down and just observe. Now if you can it's best to go to a nice dark sky site well away from city lights and it will really improve the view. If you've got lots of light pollution you might not see that many meteors, only the brightest. But if you go somewhere nice and dark, with the Perseids you could see upwards of 100 meteors per hour under ideal conditions. So thanks for watching and I hope you get to see some meteors.